Annalisa Dodds, Labour MEP for the South East. We hear that there are a great number of speeding fines that Thames Valley Police aren't able to, where well, they aren't able to prosecute. What seems to be going wrong? Well, the UK, as I understand it, has opted out of a Europe-wide scheme which would enable our government to actually chase up some of these infractions. And I get a lot of casework from people who have been fined in other countries, and they're certainly pursued in Britain. So it seems like we're losing out and not really making use of the opportunities available to us. Is there a risk that, that, is there a risk that if foreign drivers aren't being prosecuted in places like Oxfordshire that they'll be taking greater risks and therefore potentially putting drivers, people in Oxfordshire, at greater danger? I mean, I, th I think like British drivers when they're abroad, quite often it will be an innocent mistake that has been made by people. But of course, we've all got to learn the rules of the road when we go on holiday, and that should apply to people from the rest of the EU when they're in Britain as well. And of course, there is the concern, as you say, that some people might think, well, I'll get away with this and just don't care. And actually, it, I, I believe the figures, the latest figures suggest that up to about a quarter of traffic offences across the whole of the EU are caused by people who are from a different country uh, from where the uh, offence was uh, taking place. So of course it is a worry when it comes to safety as well. And there does seem to be an imbalance here because if you go on your holidays uh, to, I don't know, places like France, you can expect if you're not, if you're not going to obey the traffic law that, um, and you're speeding that you will get a, a fine. So what's going wrong that that's not happening in reverse? Yeah, I mean, I'd certainly get quite a bit of casework on this issue. People who have, uh, again, a lot of the time by mistake, broken some kind of regulation and who then get fined. There are special protections available within Europe, so the authorities can't leave it for years and years before contacting you, for example. So there are rights British drivers have in that regard. But I think we do need to have a level playing field when it comes to actually catching those offenders. It's really important. Is there a chance to, to change things and, and how would you like to see uh, the law perhaps changed to, in, to include uh, foreign drivers in Britain? Well, as I understand it, and I've been trying to find out details on this all day, I understand that there is going to be um, more inclusion of the UK in the information sharing processes in the future. So I think that will be very, very positive for us, um, because ultimately we don't want to have anyone speeding wherever it is in the EU. It's important for all of our safety that we get this sorted out. And in the meanwhile, you know, that, it does leave a, a bit of a, a gap in the law, doesn't it? Yes, and I have to say we're finding this in quite a lot of areas in the UK where we've opted out of legislation for what I would view as quite ideological reasons sometimes. That's having a concrete impact on British people, whether it's British holidaymakers who've been attacked when they're abroad, or again, British people who might be uh, crashed into, say, by a speeding car from another country. This is a problem for the UK. There are opportunities available to us at EU level, and we're not making use of them for what seem to be, a lot of the time, nakedly political reasons. And I don't think people's opportunities should be gambled with in that way. I mean, one of the things that is very noticeable is just the, the, the sheer size of these figures. You know, we're here, we're here we understand that we're talking about thousands of, of, of uh, pro potential prosecutions going unfulfilled. I mean, that, that, that's rather alarming, isn't it? Absolutely, it definitely is alarming completely and from a safety point of view as we were talking about before this is a concern but of course it's also a concern for the police and for local authorities if we're talking about parking because they're not getting those funds that otherwise would be available to them. You know, why can the French police have those funds and yet the UK police can't? Uh, we really need to tighten up and as I say we need to put ideology aside and focus on what's best for British people.